Hey everyone, it's Victoria from New York, and I haven't made a video in a really long time. Let's see, since the fast that I did, um, I did a 21 day fast, and I have some things to say about it. People wanted to know, after my fast, how was I doing? Well, I took down my fasting video because too many people were doing their fasting because they were telling me that I inspired them, and they were doing the fast on their own. I think that's very serious to do a fast. People die after a fast. It's not a joke. You can't really do it alone, um, especially the first time for a long-term fast. I don't recommend doing it. So I want to talk about my time after the fast, like people requested. Okay, so I came back from my fast. I wasn't happy with uh, the way things were going at uh, Tanglewood with Lauren Lachman. So I took the first flight out of there on the third day of my refeeding, and my refeeding was very interesting. The fruit was not ripe there. So when I got home, I just dug into, like, you know, cherries. I loved the cherries. Everything started tasting really good when I got home. So it was starting to get really cold and raining out and snowing out, and I developed all this uh, green phlegm. And this phlegm was kind of, you know, deterring me from staying on all fruit. I really do believe in climate and food. I do believe in your environment having a lot to do with what you eat. And not in a great, great um, way, but just it, it has some sort of pull with me. If I'm cold, I don't want fruit. Now, the Chinese believe this in... Uh, they believe in the yin and the yang, and I really start to believe it because I lived it. Uh, stress, living in a city, and cold, cold, I mean really cold weather in New York is just, it, it, it just did not turn me on to fruit. I didn't want fruit. I didn't feel like having fruit. I did have fruit, a lot of fruit, but then in the nighttime, I wanted something warm. I just, it wasn't going to cut it just having something like uh, warm water. So, uh, having the uh, phlegm that I was getting, this green stuff coming out of me, was a good sign. But I was also, I don't know, I guess turned off that maybe I questioned my fast. I didn't know if that was the right thing to do. Of course, it was a good thing to do. It was a good cleanse. But I was starting to doubt myself. I started to crave meat like crazy. Like, I really needed to eat meat. I was thinking of ways to go and get meat, and then, uh, but I was vegan. So all these thoughts were creeping up on me, and I decided to get a blood test. And even though it was too soon, I got a blood test, and my B12 was low, my triglycerides were high. I mean, it was too soon to get it. Uh, I asked Dr. Graham if it was too soon. He said, yes, wait a couple of months. So I'm going to wait another few months and then take another one. But I did start having um, garlic to keep me warm. It worked. It also kept me raw most of the time. And what else did I have? I had uh, made mushrooms, uh, portobello mushrooms, which reminded me of meat. So I didn't have the meat. And then my cravings went away. It really, really went away. So that was good. Started taking B12 and mushrooms and garlic. And my B2, and, and I really seriously did not have one more craving for it. And I don't mean like just a craving, like, you know, pregnancy craving. Like, oh, I wish I could have... No, I mean serious craving. Like, I wanted that meat like nothing else. I didn't want anything else. I didn't want anything else but meat. Okay, so moving on to that. Then I'm on cooked food, but I uh, started reading Fit for Life and by the Diamonds, and I really realized that uh, the food combining thing is very important. If I was going to have cooked food, I wanted to at least combine it the right way. So all day long, I would have fruit. And then at night, I would have a cooked meal. My kids still eat cooked meals. I cook for them. Vegan chili doesn't seem so bad on a very cold winter day. And I sit with my family and I eat. I do have a lot of salads. I do eat raw all day. That's my rule. And then at night, if I feel like having a cooked meal, it's going to be vegan. My downfall is oil and salt. That's, that's a very big downfall. That's why I'm carrying extra weight. So that's what I'm doing after my fast. That's how I definitely questioned my fast for a while. My food 
stays on me much more. My body's much more efficient, and that's a good sign. But my food stays on me longer, faster. It just grabs on. And I'm not that happy about that. I mean, in other words, I get fatter, and I hold on to it faster. So, not so great. I do run a lot. Um, I'm exercising now. I'm starting to lift weights, 10-pound weights in each hand. And I'm liking it a lot, and I'm mixing it up with the bike, the running, and the lifting weights. I wish I could swim, but I don't live near a pool that I like. And that's about it right now. That's my update. And if you're interested, write me. If not, it's nice to just update whoever wants to know. So that's my story. Take care.